In this video, I'm going to show you how to create effective WooCommerce product bundles, for example, fixed bundles. Also, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic cross-sell bundles on the fly based on different conditions. And what's even more awesome, I'm going to show you how to create mix and match bundles in a way like you see on the screen right now. That is, I can add products to the bundle, remove them from the bundle, add bundles to the cart, go to checkout, pay for those and done. The setup is really easy, it's going to take only a couple of minutes, so let's jump in. The plugin I'm going to use today is called WP Bundle, the one you see on the screen. Currently it allows you to create four types of bundles, that is fixed bundles, cross-sell bundles, dynamic bundles and mix and match bundles. The pricing for one site is $99 per year, for three sites it's $199 per year, and for agencies, that is 10 site license, is $499 per year. These are the official prices, but if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice 30% coupon for you. Just follow the link, use the coupon, and you're good to go. Now, let's go and see how does it work. After installing and activating the plugin, you'll see on the left down here. There are three menus, bundles, reports, and settings. I'm going to take a look at the settings last. First, let's take a look at the reports. You'll see how many bundles you have created. Currently, my site has four bundles. How many products have been purchased and what is the bundle revenue? You can filter by the type or by the bundle name, choose the period and some other options here. If we go to see the bundles, you'll see all the activated bundles. You can activate or deactivate them by pressing on this button here. You can delete those. Let's do that. And you can also duplicate. But I'm going to delete all the bundles so I could have a clean sheet for you. Now, in order to create a bundle, click either here or here. And you can choose between four bundle types. I'm going to briefly introduce every one of those to you. So let's start with a fixed bundle. First, let's give it a bundle name, Lamps Bundle. Now let's choose some products, for example, Golden Lamp, click Add. Heart clamp, click add, and let's use one more, for example, this one here. Now I can add a product name because it will be added under product. So lamps bundle seems seems okay to me. I'm gonna add a short product description, select product image, this one here. I'm gonna give percentage discount for the bundle, although I can also Give it a fixed price for a bundle or a fixed discount for a bundle. I'm going to choose percentage discount, 20% off. Now there are two templates I can choose between this one and this one. I like this one more. You can preview the template here. And how does it look like on a mobile? Next, you can click on edit content style button. Give it a title. I'm going to add get a 20% discount by purchasing a lamp bundle. Under the design, I can customize how does it look like. For example, I'm going to add a thin border, change the color. This is a preview here. I'm going to add a slight background color, make images a bit bigger and nothing else to it. Under the advanced, I can choose whether to display short product description down below here. I'm not going to do that because some descriptions are long and they won't look good over there. But I'm going to activate product links and I'm going to display product images. Now let's save and close it. Save and close it one more time here. And the bundle has been saved. Now, where do you see the product? If you go to the products and open up all products, you'll see there is a lamp bundle, fixed bundle as an explanation. It's under the uncategorized category. I need to change it because I need to display it under the lighting category. Also, if you open up the bundle configuration here, you can delete the products from the bundle or add some additional products here. You can change the product image, all other information also. So let's update it. Let's view the product. And there you go. Here's my first product bundle that is fixed bundle. As you see, you can also change the attributes and the image changes accordingly. Awesome. Okay, back to the bundles and let's create another bundle. This time we're going to create a cross-sell bundle. Let's give it a title. For example, Form Ceramics Cross-Sells. Choose the products that to be bundled. So let's once again do that. I'm going to choose 
this one and this one here. So what happens now is that those are the three products that will use this bundle. Any other products that are not added to this list will not display this bundle. Once again, I can add a percentage discount. Let's add 15% templates. I'm going to use the same template. What is a bit different this time I can choose a display location, whether it's displayed after the add to cart button or before the add to cart button. I'm going to choose before add to cart button. Also, as with any bundle, you can set the start date and set the end date if needed. I'm not going to do that, but it's self-explanatory. Okay, so let's save it. I'm going to open up this product category and this product here. As you see, here's my cross-sell bundle. If I open up this product, then there is no bundle displayed. Fixed bundles are displayed under the products here, but cross-sells products are not, so pay attention to that. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. Next, let's create another bundle. This time it's dynamic cross-sell bundle, great bundle and we can add conditions. That is, this bundle will be displayed for specific products or specific product categories. I'm going to choose specific product categories, for example, accessories. So only products that belong to accessories category will display this bundle. Now I can choose whether to display specific products, specific product category products as a bundle, products, product tags, or products based on the product price. Next, I can choose products based on the best selling products, top rated products, new arrival, featured products, sale products, or recently viewed products. I'm going to choose specific product categories. Lightning category, that is products from this category will be displayed as cross sell products. I can choose the sorting, whether it's default, random, by name, top rated freshness or price. I can add a discount, let's give it a 15% discount, choose a position, change the template, and once it's done, let's save and close. Let's find the accessories category, open one product, and you'll see this is my dynamic cross-sells bundle. All those products are from the lightning category. Okay, almost there, that is, we need to create another bundle. This time it's mix and match bundle. Let's create the bundle, give it the title, mix and match your tours. Now let's add some products. Winter biking tour, mountain hiking in Alps. Let's add those here. Product options, create your ultimate tour. Let's add a short description here. I'm not gonna give any discount at the moment, but you can do it here. And as before, you can select between templates. Currently, there is a one template. I hope there will be more in the future. So nothing to choose here. Under the edit content style, you can give it the title. For example, choose your tour for the bundle. Some design options as before and some advanced options. Let's save it and close it. Once again, save and close. And now what happened is if you go under the products, you'll see this product here. Let's add a product image, add this product to the tours category. But what you'll see is that there is no price or stock or whatever information here. It's because in order to display this bundle, we need to use a short code. That is this short code here. Grab the short code, copy it. Let's go to the pages. I created a page here. I added a background image with a text. I'm going to replace this short code, save it, open it up, and there you go. Here's the description. These are the products. I can add them to the bundle. I can delete them from the bundle. I'm done. So if I add this to the bundle, it's added to the cart. If I go to the shop, let's open up this product. Let's add this bundle also to the cart. Now let's go to the cart page. And why did I do that is that I need to display you some settings. If you go to the settings page, you'll see there are some options. You can choose whether to use a regular price or sale price to calculate a discount. For the fixed bundle, you can choose whether to display bundle products name in the same line on cart and checkout page. That is, 
this one here. There are some other options, for example, to hide product names, display product names in separate line, display without bundle product name or with bundle product name. Next one is for the stock management. You can choose whether the stock management is based on the bundle product stock. For example, if I go to the products, open up lamps bundle, open up inventory, activate track stock, I can set the number here, for example, there are five bundles available. Now, if I use this, then choose based on the bundle product stock. If you choose based on the bundled product stocks, then stock status for every separate product is calculated. That is, if there are two golden lamps, five coral lamp walls, then you can add only two bundles to the card because there are no more than two golden lamps available. So pay attention to this here. Next one, for the dynamic cross sells bundles, you can choose how many products to display. And for the mix and match bundle, you can choose how to display the product names on a card and the checkout page. It's a similar to the fixed bundle options here. Now, this is only one way to boost your sales, but I have made a separate video about the other plugin from the same company. The plugin is called Upsell WP, which allows you to boost your order values by 30%. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.